Hey there, everybody, I'm Logan23, and you're going to join me for the most addictive game that you're going to ever get your hands on on mobile device. So let's go ahead and dive into what this is. It's called Frozen City, and you get to start out with a very small town of people who are trying to survive in basically the world has frozen over, right? And so they're all trying to band together and start a town, start anew, and uh, basically just survive. And long story short, this is one of the towns that I've got up to. It's called Plain City. Um, it's a level four city. You start at a level one. Very simple, very short city, a lot less buildings and things like that. You can zoom in and see all your little people that you've got. You micromanage them um, basically to hell and back. And, uh, you know, there's food that you've got to grow, that you've got to cook. Um, you have to produce anywhere from coal to light bulbs to bronze, tin, copper, iron, all this sorts of thing. Um, you even have a radio tower to speed up how fast they move and everything in between that you can possibly think of. Uh, so, but let's go ahead and dive in to even more and I will show you starting out a fresh new city and show you some of the uh, things that I'll have to go through. So go, let's go to the next city. So I survived 369 days, not in real lifetime, but that's how many I survived in game. 43 survivors would help, no strikes, well played, produced the electric light, and a copper block is now an infinite resource. So when you first start out, you do not have infinite resources, you have to gather wood. Again, very simple. Once you finish town one, Wood will be an infinite resource for your next town. It's how you start out. And it's really cool that each town you go to, it's an infinite resource. So you're about to see what it'll be next. So this is me completing and celebrating my town that I had. Beautiful. But now... It's time. It's time to move on. The road pit once produced over 90% of the area's coal. It was abandoned after the Ice Age, when the ground froze and over and homes moved. People could no longer mine and transport the coal. So as you see here, we have infinite amounts of things. So um, we're right now, like I said, wood, since it's coming from town one. But if we do happen to need Basically, as you saw, they're the bars. Those are infinite as well. So, like I said, infinite. So you can go ahead and upgrade to the point where you get coal, right? So for each time you upgrade, there, as you can see, there's two numbers. And long story short is those two numbers will um, basically speed things up, right? For the, for the bottom one, right? And then on the next one, it is for... Um, how quick it'll be right so you get rest for this one and this one um for instance is is speed up right um in normal other production places um you'll see here in just a second it'll be for speed up and then it'll be for um production may i say so uh here three two one so the top there is we would make 1.78 meat and then you want to assign someone to that and then for each time you go, as you can see here, the number goes up. So right now we're doing 85.4, 87.2, and that's the max we can do because the infinite amount of bars. Um, eventually you have to do more resources, right? You have to do more coal and things like that so you can um, upgrade your buildings. So next one is this one. This one requires coal. So we're going to want to find out where we need to make coal. So there's a hospital. We do need that. Very important. Ah, there it is. There's our coal mine. Now currently we have one chef, one hunter, which is very important. Um, if you don't feed your people, they get really upset. So I've upgraded both houses right. Let's upgrade our hospital a little. Uh, you want to make sure to have the highest survival rate, and we'll get to why. And there's your, you know. So, 
get someone ASAP on all this production, right? First things to know, people are going to want to eat. If they do not eat, you can go a few nights um, with people not eating. Eventually, um, you know, they're going to start getting upset. Production um, of whatever they're doing will start being affected. Um, yeah, it's really bad for you. So right now, as you can see here, we assign this person to hunt, right? Where they need some meat. They will go out on their own and they will find that meat. They'll bring it back to this person who's been assigned as your chef. We'll drop it in there. Bang, $3.99. So it takes uh, 40 meat to cook. And for each 40 meat is one meal. And uh, it takes 7.5 seconds for that, right? So right now, as it stands, we do have enough food for meal time. But since we set the guy too late, he's not making any meals himself, right? However, during the work hours, as you can see by the little wrench here, is when he'll start the cooking. Um, he'll go down here and start the mining. And he was probably out hunting before the, the timer, so... You know, right here he's got his club. It's work time. It's wrench time. And they're going out. Right now it's also too cold. We have infinite wood. Let's burn it. Let's, let's make everybody nice and toasty. So when you start out, you're not going to be able to hit that extra heat thing. Um, but as you get to each town and you have that infinite resource, you can burn a little extra heat. There will be storms that surge and nighttime gets really, really cold. But... Uh, when you first start out and you got infinite, just burn it, man. Just burn it. You're you got infinite, right? But when you first start out, and then also when you upgrade, so for instance, you, you upgrade the furnace, that'll require coal. That takes away your infinite resource that we're burning right now, and then you have to balance production, how much you burn, things like that. Now, passively, your furnace will constantly keep giving you heat, um when it's down low right so right now it's five degrees when you upgrade it it'll it'll upgrade a little bit more and a little bit more and that'll be great so at the bottom middle right here you see there's a little tv pop up that's an ad you can watch an ad you get all that coal for free so thirteen thousand coal i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i'll be right back so now that we watch that ad we got thirteen thousand coal to work with which is great. Then you want to make sure to go down here to your bottom left and click on tasks. This is a guiding light for you as to know what things you should probably prioritize. So we built the hospital. Um, we can upgrade the beds now that we've got all that coal. Boom. Okay. So as you saw there, um, we have a new thing to go. And when you get later in the game, right? Yeah, no, I thought they were gonna, you know, just go right for it, but apparently we need nails, which is from a foundry. Probably something that is around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and build it. So currently, we only have one unassigned person, which is fine. Um, and you also, this is very high priority. So when they sleep, they get a certain amount of Z's. Um... Each city you go to has certain requirements that every night they'll, they'll go to bed. Um, a certain amount of Z's will do fine. When you're first starting out, the Z's don't really have to be adjusted much. But as you get higher and higher and higher, the Z's will have to be pushed to, um, I would say, even just better safe than sorry. To also make sure that if you want to get production up, because you can go to buildings and do extended shift, which means they will not sleep. That means they need to be very well rested, if not fully well rested, to make sure that they can work a whole night, then the next day, because they're going to be working all during that day, then hopefully you put them to bed, otherwise they're going to start getting very upset. Another thing that plays into that is definitely your kitchen. Do you see here, at the bottom, table equals rest. Stop equals less time it takes to cook. Okay, so remember those two very important things. Let's go ahead and assign that person. And right now, it's just, hey, this person will start once sleep right now, which they're doing, uh, once they're done sleeping. 
they will start making nails. Nails, again, will go towards the new, the higher upgrades. You don't have to worry about so many new things like, you know, nails and coal and just all these things being thrown at you like I'm showing you right now when you're first starting your first town. Second town, you got about two, three resources you got to go through. Third town, about five, six, and then it goes on and goes up and the whole nine yards. And you have to find a balance. So if you've played games like Oxygen Not Included or really any survival game, whichever one's a little toasty now that I've turned that on, um, but not really because it's still only five degrees Fahrenheit. Basically, if you've played those games, you know what all the micromanaging about it is. Like I said, for people like me, for people like you that enjoy those games, this game is going to be super addictive um, because you're going to want to micromanage each and every single one of those things, right? When you first start out a town, as you can see here, it's a little uh, slow-ish um, unless you want to just go for working overnight. Um, but what I'll do is, is it, rather than sit you all through this, Let's just go ahead and fast forward. And by fast forward, I mean talk about other features of the game. So, long story short is, you have heroes that you get. They have to be assigned to certain buildings. For instance, um, a Dr. Lee here is assigned to the kitchen. It's weird, they're a doctor, but hey, maybe they're just a doctor being a chef, I don't know. Anyway, long story short is, you can upgrade their levels. Then you get to a certain star right here, as you can see here, it's blinking. Um, so they'll max out. You have to get a certain amount of cards right here and a certain amount of red fragments to be able to upgrade your person. They'll upgrade to level 30. The only downside to this issue is as you get higher up in towns and levels and things like that is for instance, um, right here on casting table right there's a plus one next to this table right if your hero is not high enough level when that casting table isn't put down which when you put it down it'll tell you what level you need to be if that hero is not that level you cannot assign a person to the casting table so initially, you usually, with a hero fresh out of the, the package, you initially can usually put down about one or two people per building, right? Past that, you're going to need to level your heroes up. You're going to need more cards, you're going to need more of those little star fragments, um, because I would say once you get to, a, you can usually about six people per building is the max so far from what I've seen. Um, for instance, uh, one of the places I only could get my hero to level 20, right? And they needed to be 25 and 30 for the fifth and sixth person in that building. And so I had to wait. Now, what you can do is to get those cards, right? Um, you can go over here and there is the common chest, right? Which I'll click on and show you. So you get a bunch of fragments or wishing stars that will allow you to use them to upgrade your hero to whatever the max is at the time, right? And then you'll get 10 of the red fragments that we talked about. Then you get a ch you get the the blue card, which is great for blue heroes, but you get a possible purple card, right? Now, the higher chest you go, the more you get, and the less possibles there are. And as you can see here, there's a legendary chest, right? Um, I have had enough diamonds through just playing the game. I have not spent a single cent yet on this game, mind you, by the way. That I have um, not just ranked in the top 40 worldwide um, with one of the most recent events because this game ju did just come out too. That's cool, I love that. When I when you get in on ground floor of a brand new game, you get to test all the cool things. And, and this game, when it first, first came out, they didn't even have events. They didn't have an adventure mode. There was a lot of things that were just not in this game. It was just what you see here, just the building and just things like that. Long story short is, um, there's all these things that you can buy if you so choose right i'm a person that if i enjoy this game a lot i will end up 
um, supporting devs. And I encourage everyone to do that. You know, just don't throw your wallet at the screen. Well, let's go ahead and watch. So you do get one box every eight hours. And then, on top of getting that one free box every eight hours, you also can watch an ad every eight hours to get another blue box. So you get two boxes every eight hours for free. It's quintessentially, right? So let's go ahead and open this box and see what we get. All right, let's open her up. So we got a Dr. Lee, which as you saw was the cooking hero, 82,500, and uh, yeah, 10 of those, pretty good. So like I said, six hours from now, I'll be able to open yet another chest. Um, right now, as you can see here, we have a hero to be collected. So let's go ahead and go over to heroes real quick and show you. These are all the heroes that I've collected thus far. Love this one. It kind of looks like Future Trunks. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, you'll know. Right? However, this one is to be collected. So you may ask, Oh no, this is where they get you, right? Gotta pay for this bad boy? If you want, yes, you can, actually. You you literally and figuratively can. As you see, there there's the abandoned mine deck right here, and you can pay six bucks. Or... By doing your tasks, as you see here, upgrade the furnace, two hours. Every time you open one of those chests, you get a chance at getting the hero that you need. I know, doesn't sound all that appealing, but don't worry. Here's the kicker, okay? We have tons of heroes, right? Not every city is going to have a new hero introduced. So as you can see here, six or ten? Heroes, one hero is introduced every city. However, 11 and 12 don't have new heroes. And this also happens with prior cities before now as well, right? 14, 15, no heroes. 16, needs a hero, right? So, I would say also pace yourself, right? Make sure to max out your cities make sure to really work on upgrading characters don't rush you know to to get to the next city because sometimes it can it can backfire on you so right now let's go ahead and uh speed him up to 25 seconds it goes down to 24.6 so we need those nails right we clearly need those nails we also need more coal and speaking of coal what's there at the bottom of my screen that just disappeared should have taken advantage of that by jumping on it, but that would have been another 13,000 coal, right? Let's go ahead and speed up his coal production just a little. Again, this is something, like I said, you're going to go around and you're going to micromanage. You're going to be like, okay, I got to do this, I got to do this. Do I, do I want to increase the amount of coal he makes, or do I want to increase the speed? And you're going to have to prioritize these things every new city you get, right? For me personally, I like to go with speed. Then eventually I will go and offset that speed with uh, coal production, right? And then I'll go over here and, you know, you need a certain amount of coal. Now your dorms can be upgraded to um, a certain amount depending on your city level, right? The next level I'll probably be able to add beds. Now two new beds will be added for each dorm room and that means I'll have two new survivors that'll be in this door, little house here. And by the way, each time you upgrade a building, it aesthetically changes. It really cool. Uh, when you first start out, we're actually only given huts. Not even kidding, we're given huts. We don't even have these nice little log cabins as you see. We're given little huts. It's a lot chillier, right? Um, hospital, really not a thing when you first start out too, right? As you can see here, I will get a hospital bed um, and as soon as I complete the this full level right here, uh, I will get a hospital bed. And then for each time I upgrade, right, for each little just smack, it upgrades the chance that people will get cold, people will get sick, people maybe not eat enough. They'll go to the hospital when it is introduced to you, I think it's past like level one, and they'll have to go here. And you have to hope that their high enough chance is survival. Now it's fine if they don't make it, 
it'll hurt your production for about a day or so, especially depending on what they're assigned to, right? Which again, as you're needing every single worker, you gotta think about your worker's health. You gotta think about their safety. You gotta think about their food, their warmth, all these things. Because if you don't do just right, yeah, no, you're you're you're, you're gonna be hurting, right? You're really gonna be hurting. And another task is done. And as I accidentally clicked the dorm. As you can see here, tons of diamonds. Every single time you complete a task, you get something in the game, right? So, you know, you upgrade the beds, you get a bunch of hero things, you upgrade this, you get a chest, you upgrade this, you get more hero things. Uh, you can only do three tasks at a time, though. And eventually, when you complete every single one of these, you do get one of the epic chests. So that way you do get one epic card, two blue cards, 30 of those red things, and uh, 200,000 of the other thing, right? Now, with that being said, in case this doesn't suit your fancy right now, and you're like, oh, well, you know, seems a little slow or whatnot, guess what? You can do this. You have all these levels to go and take your heroes, which I'll show you here in just a second, and complete. You go out and fight wildlife or other people or whatnot. I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, by clicking on, I am on level 42. I may fail this one, but we'll see. So right now, as you can see, we're going to fight, it looks like, some tigers, some boars, some wolves, some, you know, mooses. Okay. Um, these are my highest heroes, so, uh, let's go. Hopefully I survive. But, uh, also, by the way, your heroes have a bunch of abilities that, you know, were supposed to be set to auto, which just completely hurt me by not being on auto, but oh well. Like I said, I don't know if I'll survive. Uh, this'll, this'll be tough, because there are a lot of little mini guys, and they have a lot of mini guys, right? But as you can see here, there are, there's this you can do as well. Right? Yeah, no, we're most likely going to lose this one. Because we just... Some heroes, you just need um, a, a bigger diversity. Right? You need a bigger diversity. Not even kidding. So, like, you know, we don't have many uh, ranged right now that are high up there in level, right? Um, a, a lot of these heroes all have also very unique abilities, very unique things they can do. They bring unique uh, characters and little guys with them too, right? Um, and then again, also, you know, the epics are certainly better than the blues, but again, we're working on those. But, you know, I, I like having a healer, and right now our uh, highest healer is a level 10 and a level 1. I'm not even kidding. So, yeah, no, that's that really hurts. Another cool little adventure thing you can do, though, is when the game isn't crashing... It, it does that on Bluestacks, I promise you. I have not had it crash on a mobile device yet. Okay? Just saying. For whatever reason, the Bluestacks and them kind of throw punches at one another. I don't get it. My story sorry. We're back. So, map. Right? There's this little thing down here. Again, they didn't have all, all like all this when I first started this game. And they've done a lot in just a couple weeks that I, I'm... I'm going to be honest, a lot of developers don't do with their games. Put out a ton of content so you will stay constantly amused and have stuff to do. So adventure is completely different from what we just did. Okay. So let's go ahead and assign our three top people. Um, eh, you know what, I'll actually not do him and I'll do these three. Okay. So your first thing's kind of always a throwaway, right? You'll get, like, some stuff that we need. Nails, diamonds, coal. That actually do go back to your settlement. So you then get to choose. Do I want a level 30 hero? Do I want a strong survivor? Um, what Do I want a boar? Right? Well, most likely you want the strong guy, right? And then, by the way, you eventually get a really cool box. Uh, once you complete 50 out of 50. And then you can take a look at what's in your backpack, too, while they're fighting. Right? We got even more that are just going to all go back to our home. So we got the Alpha Yak. We can take James. Heals all teammates by 20% of max HP at the end of a turn. Ah, uh, it's a tough one, but I'm going to go with James. So another free one. 
search in a car, find some more stuff to take back, right? So, do we want Arthur? Do we want to reduce the energy loss by each turn, or raise HP by an alpha bore? Um, and it's only for all the bores, so we have no bores, so let's take Reinhardt! Listen, I love Reinhardt, and I love people that use shields in their tanks, so... If only he was in the front, you know, being a tank. Reminds me of certain Overwatch players. But anyway, looks like we'll be winning this one, right? We really need a healer. Um, but <laughs> this guy will only heal one person at a time. So let's go with a, uh, you know, a, 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 an archer, right? 47 of 50. Will we beat this one? Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to lose our one hero. Which is unfortunate. May actually lose more than that because we've got this person in the back throwing green stuff at us. And they're hitting who I call Keanu Reeves because he's got the you know look of him with a giant mace. We might lose him, but he no, he, he's law he's alive barely. So strong survivor or a ninja for once. It's also I'm noticing the levels kind of dipped. We started out with a level 30 and now they're going to 20. Hmm, making it more challenging, I suppose. Car will get us to 49. Would have been amazing if I could have opened this on, you know, the video for you guys, but... Lights a bonfire before battle, raising the teammates' attack speed by 30%. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Even though the battle power for it is lower, that 30% goes for everyone, so... But will it be enough on this final wave? As one of them freezes us, it may not be enough. As our attack speed just wore off. We need to take out the freezer. Okay, okay, we're gonna, we might, yes, yes! We will win! We will win it! No, I wish to go back and show them, you know, what I'm doing. Okay, uh, we're most likely gonna lose the next one, I'm gonna be honest with you. So you can select a card, as you see here. Of people we currently have. Sadness. I'll select this one. So yeah, we're going to lose this one. But we'll, at least we'll do a clean start. So in order to get another chest, we'll have to do another 50 rounds of that. Right? You can only do that once a day. And as you can see here, we got a ton of other stuff though. And we got one necessary card. I would say if you are able to ever get that box, always go for the Epic Heroes because the Epic Hero cards are far harder to get um, than the blue cards, right? So here we could upgrade the Chef, right? Um, but I did grab this one, which is Sophia, right? It's one of those we haven't uh, fully upgraded yet, right? Been kind of just sitting there seeing what we need, especially for this current town we're on. Um, so usually in the past, right, this guy has been a guy who has provided, um, fuel cost to the center of our city. Unfortunately, since we're on a new city and heroes do change over time, uh, unfortunately he is no longer the main hero that gets to be acquired here, and so we have to get that guy, unfortunately. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into all the coal that we now have. So as you can see here, this guy is not level 25, right? Right now he's at a max of 20. As I was showing you earlier, or telling you, um, you need level 25 hero to be acquired on them. Okay? We'll get to that here in just a second. But that's where you're going to want to go over here. And you're going to want to upgrade your house. However, that requires a level 2 furnace. So some towns will allow you to go ahead and build multiple dorms. This is one of those towns. So we can go ahead and build the dorm here, and that'll help. Now, another thing is, is as you do get, I believe, Town 4 and above, storms rage, and they actually will hurt your temperature. Right? That's why you, want, you do want to upgrade your furnaces. So here we just got that done. And basically people will come into our house but you notice how the upgrade requirements are a lot higher for this house again these are things you've got to micromanage 
right? See, that's all upgraded or ready for upgrade. But on this, let's go ahead and get this guy to that level. We've got plenty of those fragments that allows us to go all the way up to level 30. We put him on the coal, and we're going to double down on them. Next up is that guy. So right now, our hero more than meets it. We can immediately put the new survivors that we get, if we have any that are unassigned, right, to, um, you know, the new hunter's cabin. So right now we've got one that can't work. I think that would be this person here uh, in the chef's place, right? Then over here, again, want to make sure to upgrade this. Get it up there. You see right there? This requires a level 25 hero as well, right? But, in the meantime, just make sure to push all that to the highest possible amount, right? So, hopefully this has helped you decide if you want to get into this game, as you can tell. Uh, it, it's something that I have played for countless hours, especially when I first started the game, right? Um, and as you can see here, actually the reason why our person was uh, not assignable is they are currently in the ER. That sucks. So, they have to hope that they survive. So, long story short is, uh, this will tell you right now they have a broken bone. That's actually the first time I've seen that. It's very interesting. Uh, normally it's like they're sick because they got too cold. So, this one's a broken bone. Will they make it? What bone, bone did they break? I personally would like to know. But the game doesn't tell us that, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, looks like we upgraded that, that. As you can see, we've already started going through the tasks, right? Right now we could already upgrade the furnace. Um, you know, this guy is to upgrade at a bull point, right? Let's put him in there, make him do some more... The iron, or the nails, right, are really getting produced. They're really, you know, they're up there. Timers are better. You know, again, they're sleeping. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll wait to see if this person actually does survive. And it looks like they made it. They pulled it through. Their broken bone is no longer broken. And now they can be assigned to the hunter's cabin. Where tomorrow morning, because everyone else is currently sleeping, they'll go out and hunt for food. So people can make sure that they eat. Because remember, the more survivors you get, the more meat you're going to need. The more meat you need, you got to find that balance. Remember that. So hopefully this video has helped you. One get into this game Two, helped you get your you know your foot in the door you know hit the ground running if you happen to have any questions or want to definitely see more of this content leave a comment down below you know ask any questions also letting me know if you enjoyed this whatnot and then also make sure to like and share the video subscribe to the channel especially if you want more content which we have done a load of content especially variety content so again check all that out been doing this for many many years 3800 plus videos of all games shapes sizes everything so thanks for watching love your beautiful faces and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out